Hello everyone. Welcome back to my nursery. My name's Vicki. Um, I'd like to say welcome to everyone, all of, to all of my uh, new subscribers and all of my old subscribers. Thank you so much for being here and joining me again. Uh, I'm back in the painting room and I want everybody to see the, what I've got going here. I have just been painting up a storm, guys. And um, this little girl was that Chanel, the big old girl I had, Chanel Kit by Janie Delane. I'm doing an update video for the mamas and for everybody else to see. And I have completely stripped her, and she has got one layer of paint. So let me bring over her head, and I'm going to show you. She's been completely stripped. I have put one layer of paint on her as all, guys. And um, now I will show you her head. She, she had on a wig prior to me stripping her. And uh, Mama was real worried about it because, as you can see, that wig has put dye all over her head. Um, it won't come off. I thought maybe when I stripped her that this would come off, but it's actually in the vinyl. But it's like I told her, I says, don't worry about it, you know, because she's going to have hair over this and you're not going to see it. So she's going to, and then two, the paint will cover some of it up too. So there she is. She also had, this is where the brows were at. You can see a yellowy, orangey looking spot. See here and over here. Uh, we will put eyebrows back there so that won't be noticeable. Now, she does have a spot right here in the middle of her forehead. I don't know what this was. It kind of looks like a U in an orange, and then it is surrounded by yellow. But that's okay. We will be putting paint over the top of that, and hopefully most of that will cover. If not, then I will wind up putting like a birthmark or something there to cover that up so you won't see it. So she's going to look good when I get her finished. But anyway, there she is stripped with one coat of paint. Now, guys, people don't realize how many how many coats of paint takes on these uh, the darker complected babies, and this is both of these that I'm going to show you tonight. They are going to be very a lot darker than what they are. Very dark, not dark dark, but darker complected, and uh, like an AA baby, kind of. And um, here's a leg. Now I just got this out of the oven. It's still warm. It's cooling. And here's the other leg. As I say, this is stripped in one coat of paint. I, I did get her eyes out, if y'all guys noticed. I got those out. Uh-huh. I sure did. So, there's a gone. And there's an arm. And here's an arm. So, she's cooling right now. Now, I'm going to go show you. I'm going to show you the Gabby Gail kit. Now, guys, this little girl. I'm going to bring her over and show you the difference in what she is. Look at the color difference. Than what she was. This little girl has had several layers of paint. See how she's going down darker, darker, darker? Now, guys, we're far from finished. Far from finished. I was trying to think. I'm going to count up how many layers of paint this girl's had. At least seven. At least. Maybe, I don't know, maybe eight. But at least, I'm sure, seven. This is seven layers, at least, of paint. But you can see how that... She's going down, the color, getting darker and darker and darker. Here's the leg. Now my lights may be throwing it off a little. Uh, let me see here. Here's another leg. It gets right under the light a certain way and it looks paler because it's right, I mean, it's right under that light. Guys, you got to remember now, I've got super, super bright lights out here. I have got a uh, light above me that has four bulbs in it and they're all daylight bulbs so it is super bright out here and the reason I do that guys is so I can see what I'm doing when I'm painting I have to see it really well see now uh, I've got a video of when I first started her and I'll try to link it in this video on, you know to where you can see the difference in her skin tone how it's come along but I'm sure you can see it I mean it's just it's obvious but there she is. That's the Gabby Gale kit. Let me get her up here. Isn't she pretty? Now, guys, as I said, she's had seven, maybe eight layers of paint. She's far from finished, guys. Far from finished. Um, She is going to get another coat of dark color next. And then I don't know where I'll go from there. Probably, I don't know. I may be going to some, um, some um, like, Mottling after this. I'm not real sure. I'm going to have to check on my notes. Um, 
it'll be more of a her mottling will be more of a um well both of these because they're the dark, darker complected babies uh, more of a plum not a red but more of a like her lips will be more of a plum color and her mottling the red mottling usually that i do on my babies hers will be more of a plum red like a plum and uh, she gets yellows she hasn't got any yellows yet she will have a genesis yellow and a yellow ochre before i before i'm done plus her veining of course we'll have to do her veining and all that none of that's done guys i'm just right now i'm just taking that skin tone uh down and getting it darker 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 now on these when you take these babies guys from a caucasian skin tone on the babies down to a darker baby it takes layer thin 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 layers and layer after layer after layer uh of very thin layers and you just keep getting a little bit darker each time you go you don't really notice much of a difference you know as you go just a slight change each time just slightly darker 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 uh that's how you get a baby if you don't guys do it this way make sure it's super blended that's another thing i tell people if you're going to try one of these babies in the dark color my best advice i can give you is blend 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 make sure you blend that stuff out if not you're going to wind up with a blotchy baby uh just blend it blend it blend it and keep blending it i mean you know you can't you can't blend it too much believe me and uh it should come out really well, guys. Um, I done one when I first started this. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. When I first started this, I done a baby. Tried to do a baby. I didn't do one. I tried to do one of the darker skin babies. And, guys, that thing came out so blotchy. It was terrible. And the big, oh, it was like an orangey blotchy. Terrible. Oh my gosh, it was terrible. But that's been a good while ago. And uh, I've learned a lot since those days. And and like I say, the the I, just my ve best, very best advice to you is just super duper blend. Just blend, 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 blend. Do it with your cosmetic wedge. You see, I've got one here I've been working with. Do it with that. And then if you have to, take a dry brush, like a mop brush. Real fine. Just soft, though. Soft brush. And dry and just go over it with that and just keep blending it blending it blending it blending it till you get all of the um um all of it blended out and like right here when you're not you know uh when you're you're not doing the soles of the feet here on the sides when you put it just on the sides like with your say we're going to do it like this up close then take your brush after you do that i don't want to knock none of these paint off and make sure this is dry that i've already put on there because i've not i've not baked this one yet I got one more layer to go and then I'll bake. But like just kind of around the foot. You know, to where there's no lines there. You don't want lines on it. And uh, yeah, just kind of get blend it out nice and smooth and beautiful. And you can do it, guys. I mean, it, it may take a little bit of blending, but you can do it. It's it's not that hard. It's just you gotta blend a lot. And then like I say, there's oh my gosh, there's by the time I get this one through, I'm gonna count them all. Uh, oh my gosh, they're, they're probably, I don't know, maybe 15, maybe 20 even, 20 layers of paint on this baby. It takes that to get them down to dark, 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 dark colors. And, uh, yeah, so, I don't know. I don't even know how many layers. I'm going to count them up as a, you know, and I'll let you guys know how many it takes. But now this little girl, you can see the difference. She's just starting. I'm just got the first little layer on her. Just a brown, just a pretty brown color on her. And it's very thin, just a real thin layer. And I'm just, I just slowly start taking her color down. Uh, guys, the reason I haven't got her ready to go yet, this one, till now, was because my days have been so cold and I had to strip her. And the days here has just been so super duper cold. And I have to strip them outside, guys, because of the fumes. I don't want the fumes in the house because I have a, um, a little doggy and I've got a bird. And I don't want those fumes to get to either one of those. And then plus me too, you know, and my husband. And so, and then my daughter was over today and my granddaughter. And they just kind of hung out with me all day. I painted all day. I painted all day long. But they just kind of hung out with me while I painted and stuff. And I don't want them breathing those fumes. So, 
I have to do that outside. So today is the first decent day we had. So I could get her out there and strip her down and get all that old paint off her. And uh, so that's why it's taking me a little bit longer on her. And um, I had to strip her. And it's it's just so cold, guys. I can't get outside. But today we did have, it was like um, 50 degrees out today on my porch. And so then I got outside on the other table out there that doesn't have a roof over it. It's like just a deck. I have my big porch. It's got a roof. Huge big porch. And then on the end, I've got just a small little deck and don't have a roof on it. Just a deck. And so I got out there with the sun was shining and it was pretty warm. So I actually got her stripped today. I was very happy about that. But anyway, guys, just wanted you to see what I'm doing. I'm very, very busy, 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 busy. And it is 9 o'clock right now while I'm doing this in the in the evening, 9 p.m. At my time where I'm at. And uh, I will, uh, I'm going to go, I haven't eaten anything much today. So I'm going to go pop me a popcorn while these little, this little baby here cools. And give this one a rest for a minute and eat me some popcorn, guys. I always have to have my popcorn in the evening, guys. And while I'm eating my popcorn, I'm going to be looking at a few videos of you guys. Uh, trying to catch up a little bit on some of the videos and uh, Yeah, and then I'll get as soon as I get through my popcorn. I go wash up my hands really well Get the oils the butter off of them <laughs> uh, Guys I eat Orville Redenbacher popcorn. There's no other popcorn in my opinion that compares to Orville and I do the movie theater butter So I have to go wash all that good butter, you know off my hands before I touch the dolls and uh, make sure my hands are super duper clean, guys. So, uh, yeah. But anyway, I just wanted to get you a little update here. Had a lady on there. Another lady asked me uh, about, said she had a Gabby Gale kit and wanted to know if I'd paint and root it for her. And I left her a message. I hope she got it. If you tune in and if you didn't get it, if you tune in. Uh, yes, ma'am, I sure can do that baby for you. Paint and root it. Guys, if anybody needs to message me on a baby that I'm doing or one they want painted or whatever, um, I do silicones and vinyl babies. I do uh, Caucasian babies. I do uh, AA babies. I do um, anything in between babies. So, uh, yeah, you just Asian babies. Uh, I can do those. Uh, just whatever you want just message me if you look in the description box below and click on description it'll open that up and at the bottom you'll see some links there i'll have two links there to where you can contact me either one of those links and um just message me and we can get together on the price and all that stuff and guys i do accept layaway uh, I am taking payments like on these babies. I'm, I'm working on these babies for these guys right now, but I take payments. And that way, everybody can afford to have a baby if they want one. And I do silicones the same way. Uh, yeah, I'm working on a Mikey right now, silicone. Now, guys, I know I haven't got him on here, and I've been promising, been promising him to get him back on, let you see what I've got done on his rooting. But I promise tomorrow I will get that video on uh, of what I've got done on uh, Mikey, my silicone, the sil well, not mine, the silicone I'm working on for a customer of mine, rooting him, and I am working on an Ava with a beautiful copper red hair and green eyes. So I'll bring those on tomorrow. I'm rooting those. I'll bring those on tomorrow and let you see how far I've got in the rooting. And as I say, if anybody needs to message me, you just message me and we can get together. Uh, guys, if I, I'll take on some more customs right now, but I have to let you know it will be a little bit before I can get to them because I have all these, I have, uh, four I'm working on right now at this time. So I've got to get these done, you know, in order. I try to take them in order, but I, I will get to a baby for you if you want one painted. Just let me know or rooted or both. And, um, yeah, so just let me know and we can... I can give you approximate date of when I can get to yours. Uh, these, I'm thinking, these are probably going to take me, all of these four will probably take me through, oh, I'm saying February, to get all these done. And then I can start, uh, somebody else's maybe say March, 1st March, something like that. I'll be, you know, starting on some more. So, just let me know, and I will, you know, 
I'll, I'll give an approximate, you know, around March or so, something like that. I guess probably when I start some more. But right now, I've got four going right now. So, I have to get these four done first. And then I'll go on to doing more and more. I just kind of schedule and book everybody in, you know, guys. As, and I do them as they come to me, you know, like that. I try to get them done as they come to me. And this little girl right here is going to take a while to root because she's got a super big head. But uh, I can be painting on another one, you know, in between while I'm rooting on this one. Tomorrow, I will be rooting most of the day because I've painted most of the day today. So, tomorrow, I'll be rooting some more on the other ones. Like I said, which is the Mikey and Silicone and the Ava. Uh, I'll be doing more rooting on them tomorrow. I do mostly rooting all day tomorrow. Today, I've painted all day. So, tomorrow, I'll probably root. And I might do a little bit more painting tomorrow evening. Or maybe in between. You know, if I need a break away from the rooting, I may come out and paint a layer or two. So, yeah, that's the way that'll work tomorrow, though. But I just try to do it, you know, as I go. That way, you know, do a little on this one, a little on that one. So, but I'll get to it, guys. I'm working on them. But anyway, I guess that's it, guys, for the night. Uh, I hope everybody has a wonderful, great, good night. And uh, hope everybody has a good night and sweet dreams. And, yeah, I'll catch you tomorrow, guys, in a new video. Please come back. Um, and watch my videos, please. And, uh, guys, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing if you're not already. And ring the notification bell so you never miss a video when I put a new one up. And if you don't mind, guys, hit the like button. Um, that just helps YouTube to push my videos out a little bit more. So if you don't mind, do that for me. I really appreciate it. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Please come back, and I'll see you soon in a new video. Much love to you all. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.